What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off where we left off, we have landed successfully in India and are deploying our forces around to be ready for the resulting Indian onslaught. But to pick up where we left off, we have this army that's running around raiding, so we're going to send my friend Mathis over here to go and destroy them before they get too, too content to run around and destroy our buildings. Uh, even though we have many stacks of ins heading our way, we own Bengal, which is a major production centre, and we also have um, Sri Lanka, which is also a neat short on uh, numbers of troops. Okay, let's put my guns back here. Somewhere nice and out of the way. How it says drop Parker shot. Again, because they don't have a, they don't have a, uh, a re an actual normal, normally configured army to stop us. Uh, we're going to uh, deploy in one of our basic formations and uh, push it up. Flanks and uh, curve them in. Form you guys up like that. You guys can carry on doing what you're doing. Uh, it's going to go quite well actually when it comes to the squares. This square is going to fire into the back of this unit of Zamandari Horseman, which is going to be great. Uh, field artillery all engaged with Jumper's bodyguard. Units routed, that's fair enough because they were, they have been. Hmm. So they're going to start a chain route. Pull you guys back out of the way if that's how it's going to be. And they've also routed. Hmm. They'll probably come back though, realistically. They've not actually had that much damage done to them. out the rest of these camels. That's everyone, nearly everyone. And routed. But we want to get our cavalry out to do some good work. Maybe even my general halt. 
continue. Let's get some let's get some uh, chevrons under my general. Actually, you come over here and hit man. You hit man. General, you hit this unit the musketeers and let's speed up the time. And let's also knock down the or speed up the time. And stop the artillery. them up to we've got one uh, experience chevron come on crossier go help them general's gonna knock out these bowmen and all onto this last unit of musketeers chomp that's all i got to say about that delicious so that's quite a nice little win i mean we've lost lost more men than i would like but yeah. we've got the uh capacity to rebuild at the ready so we don't really have anyone coming from this direction because we've already knocked them back aye, aye, sir. okay we're probably gonna have to have, have, a, have a naval battle on our hands while we retain or try to regain naval supremacy shape and fashion, Captain. Yes, my lord. but first I just want to make sure everything else is I think everything else is going uh, why can't you Your Majesty. recruit anything? Oh, it's because it's all already being fully utilised. And Ceylon is going to continue recruiting. So we need to keep cranking out these military building upgrades. And then we're going to take this navy out to yes, go hit this Amy. This, this Amy navy right here. Let's go take him out. Yeah, if, even if I don't gain naval supremacy over the west coast, um, I would still very much like over the east coast to have some sort of safe haven. Otherwise, you know, things might get a bit tricky. Let's deploy you more like that. Yes, yeah, so there are the Indian Navy ships, but in keeping with other naval battles, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop the recording here and bring you guys back when battle is joined. So, see you in a second, everyone. There we go. We're about to start popping off shots. Um, so my target is going to be this first rate uh, leading their formation and this second rate towards the rear of their formation. So I did try and cut ahead of them here. But that was a, we were a bit too close, so then I've decided to then shift one formation again. But it looks like they're going to pivot their formation as well. That defense is going to get their first shots off at long range, it would appear. Longer range than I would like. But it does look like their first rate is going to be. Side in. We killed some crew and did a huge amount of damage, but a mainmast is gone. That's lucky. So let's get some more ships in position. Let's pour fire into her. I'm not overly concerned about the rest of them. She is on fire. Let's see if we can get Alliance to fire off some shots. If they're just in range, they are. Formation. Like this, a lot of our ships then can't fire, but we still do have some ships that are in a 
good position, but chiefly we need to close close the range because right now we've not really got we're plinking at a distance which is okay but I need to close my ships up at least some of them what's that Um, but that's a bit of a disaster, I think. There's a lot of these ships that are getting into position really just need to uh, pivot, realistically. Save, stay where you are. It's going to keep sailing on. At the very least. Looks like they're going to attempt to sail around behind our formation. Which isn't a problem. Because they're going to take a hell of a pound in if they to try and get there. So the second rate would also be nice to get some shots off with some of our ships head of our formation. It's funny really, that fifth rate's uh, very upset from taking, I think, from taking just a pounding from a pounding from a ship behind it in front of it. This fifth rate's done some damage to their ships leading the formation here yeah, right now. I don't think there's any real incentive to uh, change what we're doing. So the first rate is in bad, in bad condition. Lost a lot of guns. It's going to be the second rate ship of the line now that starts to cause problems. I'm tempted to say, okay, you stop, you stop, you try to sail a bit further out, try to sail a bit further out. Again, make sure that they're, they're all at full sail. I mean, there's not a lot to say, because right now all we're doing is just pouring fire into a... Uh, to a cluster of Indian Navy ships that speed up time of somewhat, um, just because nothing's really, nothing's really going on. Ah, they're coming right for us. Switch to chain shot. Yes, fourth rate. If I get you in here. sailing against the wind. Come on Alliance, knock out his sails. Their sails. Put you around, rid of your stern broadside. Fire chain. 
defense, you've got to get some good shots off. But now I suppose you guys, you have to start off, uh, marathoning broadsides. You'll be fire your broadside now. Anyway, because they're vulnerable. Let's fire some more. That first rate sat back there. Sail this ship into a stern position to defend again. Not to get ready to engage the second raid. Little broadside here. Switch to chain. If you can pivot, put a good amount of fire into that fifth raid. Why is Wasp Brownton? Reloaded, but that's fine. What you've got is enough. Same with you, really, although eight guns isn't a lot. Let's get you to pivot and just start plinking shots into the first rate, first rate from a distance. Fearless. Something to be feared. Speedy little ships down a peg. I don't really want to sail any more ships into position against second rate. About rejoin the weather gauge and get some shots into that sickery back there. Get, get this fella to sail and cut off the first rate that's now only sailing on one mast. Speed up time again. Set some of these guys to auto attack just to keep them going in the right direction, but well, I don't think they're withdrawing. 
what I want is this third rate to knock out the last sale. If you can knock out the last sale, then uh, she can't move and he can just sit there firing shot after shot after shot after shot. There she goes. And round shot it is. Not a whole lot of guns, but she's firing um, from the stern. She won't take any fire herself, or not much. She's got these bow chasers, but that's about it. They're slowly going down. So the ship is wavering, so just let these guys fire their guns as she bears. chain shot. Come on, get within. Good shot. Fire! Can you buy the stern? Get fearless up front. Emerald had enough. Someone routing and either surrendered or sank. Let's put a round shot in, slow her down. Chain shot, sorry, let's slow her down. Oh god, you sail around from outside the front, don't let her crash into you like that. Okay, now use round shot and just pour straight in. Pour fire straight into her, all of you guys. Sail just to get into position, wasp. Fire off some chain shots, slow her down, I'll try and slow her down. She's round shot, just fire it into a hull. And she's there at point blank range. Pivot the other way, don't try and chase her. I hate when it automatically sends, when I'm sailing ships, and I want them just to go in a straight line, it just decides, ah, you know what, I am not going to sail at full sail. And she's routing. Ooh. Continue. There we go. I just wanted to get rid of I didn't want to have any uh, ships running around, so I always like to turn to you know, select to keep them and then turn off the ones I don't want. So add my capture chips, the rest of these go into the pot. So then these guys can stay out.
that and reinforce. You guys... Argus can get an Admiral. Can't repair because the, the, uh, the dock is damaged. Um, we do have you guys, but I don't want to fight a naval battle at the moment. Research and tech is going okay. So England is now ours. Ooh. Global Trading Company for New Orleans. Uh, let's pick up a few of these farming upgrades. Got four grand. Don't think there's anything to really upgrade here. You're, You're picking up four more line. Oh, then you are done. Okay, let's pick up a, a sixth. Let's scoot them over next turn, because that big fleet is waiting to recruit. And I also do want that big fleet to stay around here. And also attack you guys. But in India, eh, everything's going okay. I think I'm probably yes, going to click and turn. And see how things develop. Obviously, Britain still does not like me very much, and that's understandable because they do own their capital or their homeland. France doesn't like me either because I used to be their colony. There we go, and we're back. ship is going down. Let's see if they can take any ships out. Hey, they did sink an Indian ship. I'd still call that a win. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's run and see if we can... No! Oh, terrible, terrible loss. Uh, yeah. Killed one, captured the other. Damn. Oh, why did I forget that army? I'm such a goon. Oh well, we got plenty of money. The only thing I've got to hope that this is that it wasn't a Theodore. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I mean, I hope it wasn't. Uh, lists, 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 lists. Nah, Theodore's here, safe and sound in the UK. Good stuff. He's the only one worth caring about. Okay, the sepoys are to join Zachary. You guys still replenishing. You guys still replenishing. Upgrade the church school. Upgrade the port. There's no construction limits on what we're doing. Build some guard the core and let's build. There we go. We lost two grenadiers in that ship going down. Your Majesty. Um, but I think you have to march on and hit this army here at the Rashi Wetlands. So let's go take him out. Bear in mind with India is that they will just throw stack after stack after stack after stack of troops at you. Just sit and wait on the defensive. You have to really. Uh, And that does mean keep. We gotta keep driving forward and keep pouring in reinforcements from other areas to support them. Because right now, one city probably won't be enough to recruit the amount of troops needed to reinforce these three armies I've got. If something bad goes wrong. Side is our strongest flank. Go 
both of you aim for this one set of camels, I think. My artillery is going to go after their artillery. Lots of cavalry on this flank, so let's just keep an eye on them. Let's get a volley off and then dump this dump these guys at least into square because the trouble is with these horsemen is they may charge but they might just sit back and skirmish so you can't just square it is Let's see if we can make the camels route perfect This infantry unit's going to take a bit of a hammering, but they'll be enough. They'll be able to repulse the uh, they'll be able to repulse the cavalry charge. It's got our howitzers to work. It's, don't, it's not split up online yet. There they go. The horsemen have been routed. Our left flank is now clear to do something like this. Artillery can keep engaging on the hill. You guys can actually engage the, uh, the cavalry coming in and canister with canister shots. I hear a charge. You engage the dervishes, my son. Dervishes are going to get in. Let's make sure we've retargeted our units. You guys can't the shot these musketeers. You run, you run. But be careful here, because they are attacking sepoy infantry, which isn't very good. Do you want to get some of my cavalry around behind them on the flank? Ah, you guys, run! Go kill their artillery! Get this cavalry to round shot, get them to start engaging Jumper's bodyguard out the rear. There we go. Wavering, sorry. Shouldn't really call things out as routing until they are routed. The other two are engaged the musketeers. My howitzers also engaged the musketeers. My cavalry is going to go after the camel mercenaries. Okay, then we're probably going to take a wider. Well, these four units are going to push up on that flank. These guys are going to push in this in this position. Those are charging in, but my line infantry is enough of a match. Going my heavy cavalry. That's not even my heavy cavalry, it's my light cavalry. <laughs> yep, there you go, the musketeers have 
moved out in response to usually it's the artillery fire. Let's run my infantry up to give them a proper target. So you need to fangy up there. God, these are Islamic swords, man. Okay. Let's get the marines in there. Send in the marines. Musketeers are falling back. Kizilbashi over here, forming up. Where's my cavalry? There's one of them. You know, White Horse is still after their camels. Okay. So we've broken their line. Which is taking you. Let's set up a new line like that. Okay, let's get you guys to work. And my general to be honest. Because these these units of musketeers are they're done. So let's retarget but how it says stop off field artillery from firing at all. Because these musket uni units are great to chase down because they're massive and it gives you the most amount of satisfaction <laughs> when you're wiping them out. Because at the very least then you know you're doing something. Don't do that. If you, want to, if you want to run in a funny direction, then I'm not going to let you run at all. Yeah, their musketeers are confident. You'd have to be pretty damn confident. Can you guys can run up like that. These mercenaries can run up like that. Field artillery can actually engage with Tufangi. Actually, you guys run along, run across, and start to engage some of these units while well, this infantry starts to push up, ready to get the Tufangi off of their hill. Obviously they come back. The devils. Come on, shake it. Then just run through. Chase down the Kizilbashi musketeers. Ah, come on, there's ten men left. Ten, five, four. Three, two, one. One guy left. There he is. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get these cavalry up here ready to push and then I'll charge them down into the I'll just charge them into the two fangy, they're only too fangy.
Here we go. You don't want to get in position in time. Crutch. There we go. Yeah, they're going to escape. It's a shame. So are they. So let's run you up here to help. Go. Now my cavalry gets a great time chasing them down. Let's speed up time. Because we do not. What we want is few of these as possible escaping the battlefield. It might be a bit of a waste to go after the two fangies. To be honest, it's such a massive block of men. It's kind of irresistible. Especially these guys are to get mauled anyway. Down to 20 men. Decisive victory, always a good. There we go, they've been pushed back. Men, then we've pushed up to the rice fields. Let's replenish our men. Lord. So you guys are replenishing. Because we do have another stack coming down with some native lancers. Yeah, two of my fleets destroyed, trade route raided. Build an engineer school. There we go, let's start the conversion. It won't be long till we get even Make more um, rebels. Because I'm striking England. There, there, there I was. upgrade everything now we've got enough money that there's not really a there's not really a limit church school jesuit college el paso gets a water powered cloth mill new roads and an ordnance board in new france becomes an engineer school good stuff okay Let's go back to India. You're still widely recruiting. In general, up here is pretty safe. One more turn to light infantry doctrine. We could go straight for riflemen, which is a bit odd. Don't worry. Soon you'll love us in our Catholic ways. Although Islam's, Islam is expanding. Oh, it's because they've got an agent over here. Right, well, let's hit end turn. Don't worry, once Britain is placated, then I can send an army over to hit Copenhagen and attempt to uh, make peace with Sweden. If they will not accept peace there, then we will land in Norway. Uh, no. <laughs> No, I'm not giving you land to go and escape away overseas. Oh, this Austrian turn is progressing quick. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> classic. Classic, classic, classic. Okie dokie. So... Now, this is the interesting in turn. Yeah, more troops. Even more, there's the two or three stacks up north. Obviously, they're going to run around and raid behind us. And this is why you can't ever really stop recruiting <laughs> against the Indians, because they will just send wave after wave after wave. Catholic missionary in Cain took territory. Okay, let's set you down to Florida. Villa Hermosa in New Spain has grown, so you can have a craft workshop. And no trouble. So we've got light infantry doctrine. 
I'll get the platoon firing to get the enemy to get the administration bonus. My lord. Okay, now don't forget these guys, because they are a proper army. Although I've got a feeling the last one was a proper army that I left alone and be left behind. Troops forward. And let's embark all of our agents. To be honest, I might have to be both of them now. And I will not forget. Will not forget. Okay, now let's start the building of another army. <laughs> there we go. And let's get this militia Forward, over to Providence. Forward. A cloth mill, good. Guatemala, you've got a port. Too bad about the garrison of the port. There you go, move this sloop over. Uh, commercial basins in Yorktown and Ireland. Dropping a few global trading companies. They are very expensive, so I wouldn't, I'm not going to expect I'm going to be doing too many of them. Ceylon's got a new artillery building. Let's immediately upgrade it. So you can now build howitzers. Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, so this army is going to be like a quick reaction force. Couple of commercial ports, commercial basins. Yeah, what about cloth mills? That's all I can build for now. Same with Iron Masters works, and same with these government buildings. Cool. So obviously they smashed up their happiness building, then they suddenly went, "Wait a minute, we're not happy." About to get rid of about to get rid of religious unrest, even with only 2.4% Catholic population, which is pretty neat. Keep recruiting men. You guys pull back to here because this is quite a good. This is a quite a good narrow choke point. If they want to get near us, then we we can choose to intercept, which is pretty good. But what I probably want to do is that army that's coming over from the Americas, and if we build some more forces here in Ceylon, we need to hit somewhere like Mysore, uh, Karnataka, because right now we are getting bottlenecked. We're getting bottlenecked and they're able to focus on our forces in one area. <laughs> yes. yeah, by the looks of it, we could... No, there you are. Okay. You stay here and guard the pass. Okay. Uh, till in turn. Let's hit in turn. See if anything interesting happens. And if nothing interesting happens, then this will be the end of the episode. Uh because I, I am overrunning and I and I do need to uh, well I need to record a couple of episodes today <laughs> well, I don't need to I want to so let's see Austria's on the move that's per usual but then again ooh that's not good let's see if you try anything Spain Wait, are we at war? Oh yeah, we are at war, aren't we? I'm such a goon. Well. So they're raiding as they gather strength. I've got another stack coming in. Yeah, I need to land troops. Somewhere else, somewhere further away. Clustering those armies together quite well. Too bad I don't have any... Ooh, Catholic missionary. Oh, and he's in Ceylon. Okay, so let's take our navy yes, out mostly. Let's get one fifth rate back in. Let's get our agent. Yes. 
embark and then disembark them in the other territory. Good stuff. So we've got our we've got some intelligence there now, and we're also getting some I'm starting to cause some religious unrest. So let's hop back over to the Americas. Let's have a look at that Spanish army. Yeah, it's not a very good army. The navy's interesting, actually. I might try and take it out. Um, where's Spain? They do have lots of forces, so maybe we uh, bring the fight to Spain. And obviously, the Britons have, have rebelled. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is end the episode here because I've got a lot of stuff to uh, carry on with. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.